Hey guys, if you visit, welcome back to another video, and this is going to be another episode of my How I series, and this is going to be showing you guys how I trained my mining through um, concentrated gold ore, and this is also going to be like a mini guide as well, so tell me how you think of it, and it's very professional, like I've got the picture in the background of me mining very, very dramatically with the nice title there, and um, if you like this style of, you know, How I series, let me know with a comment or a like, um, it's up to you. Um, I much prefer comments because it's very, very, it's much more interactive. But likes are always nice as well. Uh, but with that, with that said, let's get into the um, the how I guide thing, Gypsy my Bob. Okay, so firstly, the um, mining con concentrated gold ore at the um, Living Rock Caverns is about 100 to 110 uh, thousand XP per hour, and this is, um, you know, it's it's a very, very quick way of mining, and um, it's the method I've been using since, you know, I can mine concentrated gold ore, and it's probably the best way, um, you know, for you guys to do it as well. And um, it's very, very, it's it's nice that it's like 100k XP per hour because it's easy to gauge the time between leveling. So, for example, if I'm 500k off the next level, you know, that's about five hours of mining. And also, before I begin, I'd like to just point out that um, I highly recommend the completion of the lava flow mine and you get like you know like the lava flow mine outfit and if you know if you want me to make a tutorial on that or some sort of um, some sort of guide just leave be, be sure to leave that in the comments as well and also the description is going to have like the different times um, when I'm going to have different categories in the video so basically you know I'm going to be going like the inventory setup so that's worn inventory and backpack inventory then like the bank setup and then how to get there and then like the world hopping method so be sure to refer to the description um, you know uh, whereabouts that is in the video so like the time slot that is in the video but let's begin with the worn inventory so you'll notice that I've got the full uh, full uh, lava flow gear and um, instead of having the top I actually use the Varak Armor 4 and the reason for that is every now and again you'll have the random chance to mine a few more ore than just the one um, and you also get the lava flow mine boost as well with that so that's always a bonus. Um, you also want a necklace and a cape with some sort of defense boost because when you actually run to the spot that I'm going to be showing you guys um, there's going to be a few living rock um, creatures and stuff and they can hurt you quite a bit because um, you know the rangers like to piss you off and then the meleeers will hit you every now and again you'll lose a little bit of HP and it's best just to have a little bit more defense a little bit more HP to um, stop you from dying or losing all your stuff. You also want the Tokul Zo ring and the combat, um, the combat bracelet. The Tokul Zo ring is just simply for, um, simply for banking, because it's free and it's very, very close to a bank. And I recommend putting the combat bracelet on the third key bind on your action bar or ability bar, because once you put that on three, you'll spam three, and what it'll what it'll do is it'll interact with your combat bracelet, and then it'll teleport you straight to the monastery, which is where you want to be teleporting to with the combat bracelet, um, and that's the most efficient way of getting to the lava f to get into the rock caverns um, and if you spam 4 it'll te teleport you to the fight kiln um, through the use of the Tokuzo ring that's the most efficient way to bank and get to the living rock caverns. Now also you'll notice I've also got a wisdom aura and that's um, you know upon activation it's a 5% boost I think it is somewhere around there um, in any skill for half an hour so for the extra half an hour your XP will be boosted by about I don't know, like 5% or something it doesn't really make that much of a difference so really isn't a necessity. So in the backpack inter invent inventory you'll notice I've got um, a lot of mining urns and now you want to be using mining urns because once you gain some XP in a certain skill in which the mining urn is dedicated or in which the urn is dedicated to you get a certain amount of XP and once the urn is full you can teleport it away for quite a big chunk of XP um, for mining it's about six to seven hundred um, XP depending on like your XP um, depending if you have like double XP or a little bit of ex extra XP boost through wisdom aura um, you know but it's about 650k I think 625 XP or something like that but it is really really good if you're going to be using the concentrated gold ore spot at the living rock caverns you're going to be needing these mining urns because I don't mind for um, money you want to be mining for the XP gains, and that's what you, you know. That that's exactly what you want to be doing. You don't want to be mining there for money. Now you'll also have the super restore and the um, you know, the gold, um, the the living, the lava flow mine um, gloves, and the, also the super restore. Now the super restore is if you're lazy and you don't want to teleport to your house or teleport to Edgeville or some other place where the um, summoning obelisk is, um, because I like to just use the super restore. And um, you know it saves time going all the way to my house or going to the um, go to Edgeville to some sort of obelisk because you can just drink a sip and you can teleport your lava titan pouch. Now your lava titan pouch is very very effective because it acts as an 
an invisible boost to your um, mining skill so you can get a few more ores and stuff per hour and that basically just boosts your XP so I really do recommend using that if you've got the highest summoning level but yeah let's move on to the bank setup so you notice I've got the lava titan for obviously the invisible mining boost at the very at the very beginning which is more ores per hour so more XP per hour and we've also got the house tabs to recharge something at your house if you want to use that um, you've also got the combat bracelet for the monastery teleports which is the best way to get there um, otherwise you can teleport to Edgeville and run a little bit southwest um, to, to the um, to the point and then and uh, with the gold ore as well, you want to use that for daily challenges. So each day you're going to be using the, um, each day you've, you're you going to get a, some sort of challenge. And if you get it, somehow get a mining challenge, what I recommend you doing is mining 250 gold ore. And you're going to be dropping it because you want to bind your gold ore to keys 1 and 2. So you can so you can just spam the hell out of 1 and 2 and drop your ores instantly. And that just creates for more effective training. And um, if you have about a thousand gold ore in your bank, if you somehow complete the um, gold ore challenge, instead of banking the ores, you can, you've already bought them in your bank, so you want to just teleport straight to Berthorp, run a little bit south, and then collect your XP for the um, challenge. And then the other items in you know in the bottom right hand corner, like all the fishing stuff, really isn't necessary. I just took I just took a picture of my bank. But that's essentially how I mine concentrated gold ore in the living rock caverns. If you have any questions, please leave some comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them. Um, but hopefully, I covered everything. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.